welcome back um today we have this problem called no problem number 55 jump game um sorry if i am hitting the mic uh, you are given an integral array called nums you are initially uh, uh, positioned at the array's first index and each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position it turned true if you can reach the last index or false otherwise so we have this array called nums and we have these values and the value should be true because we can jump one step we, we have we are we are positioned first here so we can jump one step or two steps because we have two so we can jump one step and from one step we can jump three steps directly to the end or we can jump two steps and one step and one step to the end if you look at this one you will always be false because no matter how we hard we try we will end at position number zero so if we try it from number three to uh, three steps directly we we'll reach zero if we try to take um, if we if we have three so we have three possible ways to jump one two and three so let's try the second one which is to jump only two steps from three so we will be at one and we jump one we end at zero we, we tried our last option which is to jump one step from two and from two we'll have two uh two ways to jump jump two steps directly to zero and one step to one that was already also reading to zero so there are um three solutions for this one we can use backtracking so basically we try to find every single jump possible this is a naive uh, solution it's not that good but like we starting first with a naive solution after that we progress into the bit better solutions so uh, after that we could work with dynamic programming solutions and we have also a greedy algorithm solution so let's start first with the back um with the backtracking sorry i am trying to wear this mask it's my first time it's uh yeah i hope you like it so um uh first let's see how we can do this one we will do this one uh, using the recursive function so basically we'll create a function that will constantly um will constantly try to uh, um, find every single uh, every single jump from it so how we can do this one uh doing this it will be quite simple so basically basically um let's create um like a, a function okay i will call it a function it will be this function's purpose to know if we can jump from this position or not and it will take two parameters one called position and the other one we will call nums okay and um basically we'll start here with just returning whatever the can jump position will return and we give it a position we start the position by um, the first and we give it the array which will be the nums and inside this main function we will do um we will do we will try to know if we can reach the end from each position or not and as i said this is a recursive function and when you work with recursive function it's very important for all of us to know that the uh, we should find our edge cases first or our um, our cases that we want our function to stop calling itself basically recursive function is the function that calls itself over and over and over so in order to to think about the the edge case that or or, or the absolute case that would stop calling the function in let's try to think about this one we want this function run until we run out of elements so basically i would say if the position this position is bigger than uh, or bigger or equals to nums dot length if this position equals nums dot length i guess that means we reach the end 
and basically the main goal for this one is to to um to know if we can reach the end or not if that was the case we uh return true and this will that's it that, that's it otherwise we return false um oh wait a minute i guess i deleted something oh yeah return false and in the middle we try to implement the functionality for our function so first i will i will know i will say okay const um i will try to calculate the furthest jump that we can jump to so for this jump will equals uh, the math dot min uh, uh, let me think yeah a position plus the value of the position plus nums of position for yeah and we have nums.lens okay so why i put position plus nums position so let's say that you are here for example the farthest jump that you can uh, jump from from this uh, from this index is to jump only one and one basically we want to know what is the index of one if we want to know the index of one we have to know two things the index of the previous which is two and its value so if one and two it will be three so this is will be the index of the farthest jump that we can jump and we try to take them in so uh to to make sure that our jump is in the boundaries so we make for loop here and i'll say um let next uh next equals to position plus one okay and uh next will be less than farthest less than or equal the farthest jump okay and we will say okay um next plus plus and uh, basically we will do something pretty straightforward I would say if I would call the function again, if this function return true, if this function return true, and I will give it, um, I will give it the value of next, and oops, if this function returns true, um, we return true because, as you can see, this function returns true. Otherwise, we return false. And basically, that's it. Let me just uh, run the code. And um, if I submit the code, I get limited exceeded because it's not a good solution anyway. Yeah, I get time limit exceeded. So first, let me just try to describe this solution because describing the solution will give us all the abilities and the understandable to describe all the other solutions. So let's see. Here. Um, um let me let me just try to make sure that we are on the right uh, track so here um here basically um first let me try to describe this one first in the in 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 in, in this function we're starting first with what we call a base case so we check if the current position is at um, at last, last index of the array and um, if that was true and um, um, if that was true as reaching the end of the array means successfully completion like we completed this successfully after that we're determining the furthest possible jump um here in this one so for uh, the furthest jump is calculated as the minimum position plus position uh, of nums and uh, the nums that length minus one this represents uh, the farthest index that can be reached from 
the current position without going past the end of the array or past the end of the, yeah past the end of the array and after that we exploring um forward uh, jump like inside the for loop we iterate to from the position plus one which is next okay to the farthest jump each iteration represents the possible next jump from the current uh, position uh, the function recursively call can jump position for each next position uh, for each next uh, position if any of these calls returns true it means there is a sequence of jumps leading to the end of uh, the array and uh, at the end of the array from next and and thus the function should return true we return false like if loop completes without finding a successful jump sequence the function will turn false indicating that it's not possible to reach the end from the current position um basically indicating um indicating the jump uh, the jump sequence like this function starts the jump sequence by calling a can jump position from uh, the zero from the zero position from the first one let's see here from the zero position from the first one and after that it we check um, if it possible to reach the end of the array starting from the first position so as a result the implementation can uh, of can jump use a recursively strategy uh, strategy to determine if the end of the array can be reached from the first index and it does not uh, it does it does so by exploring each possible jump from the current position and checking if any of these uh, sorry sorry i hit the mic and um where we are yeah it does so by exploring each possible uh, jump from the current position and checking if any of these uh, of these leads to position from which can um, um from from which uh, the the end of the the array can be reached if such path is found the f the function return true otherwise we return false this approach systematically explores all potential jump paths from each position and it's a naive solution and in the upcoming videos we'll try to put a better um better solutions for you guys so that's it for this video and i hope you like my content if you like my content subscribe and hit the notification bell and see you in the future problem